While there are still a few launches on the schedule as we begin to close out 2021, next year will not only be busy on the pads at the Kennedy Space Center and the Cape, but there'll be plenty of firsts. Well, there's very high expectations that have been building over the years and next year should be bigger than the year before, uh, the same way this year was bigger than last year. And speaking of bigger, Artemis 1 is set to launch in February, the first in NASA's deep space exploration mission. It'll be using the most powerful rocket in the world. While unmanned, it's built to carry humans, and this test will go farther than any other spacecraft of its type. SpaceX announced that it has restarted working on launch pad 39A for its large Starship. So we'll have two gargantuan launch vehicles uh, building up to become regular uh, regular voyages from the Cape. These busy launch pads that are going to be getting even busier next year are at the Kennedy Space Center, but they're also at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station over here. Part of the concept of growing the space flight industry on the coast, private company competition. And we're going to see, hopefully get Boeing back in the uh, uh, human launch capability. That'll be huge to have that competition between two companies to put humans in space. That, with the hundreds of smaller launches, will drive the need to expand the supply chain. Just the whole uh, gamut of launch capability, different vehicles, different technologies, different companies, and all of them, uh, the vast majority of them, new commercial entrants who weren't here 10 years ago. And if this growth continues at pace every year for the next few, will continue to set records. On the Space Coast, Scott Heidler, WESH 2 News.